everyone welcome back to my channel and today we have a very different video i say different because it's not your usual four at the back formation and nor is it a five at the back i'm not a rat but it is a three at the back and you can't call me a rat because three at the backs are incredibly difficult to use post patch and yeah i was even surprised with how well i was doing with these tactics and how fun they actually are before we get into that let me just introduce you to the team quickly because there's been a lot of shakeups going on we got Follow, incredible card. He plays style plus is kind of shit. Chip plus. Um, yeah, I wish they rather gave him finesse shot or like, you know, power shot plus. Because power shot plus is severely underrated. Harry Kane is one of my favorite players right now. Just because of the power shot plus. And we also got Centurion Zico. Icon player picks have been massive for me. Zidane and Zico in the same year, like Jesus. And also I know it's Jan, but Beckham is still one of my favorite cards of all time. We got Maldini and we got Van Dyke. We're now Rad FC. Um, I have no excuse now for defending poorly because I literally have auto block in my defense. And the team you see here is not going to be the team that actually resembles how the formation plays or like the players you'd need in that position. So just pay attention to the instructions, just warning you. And now lastly, one last thing, last thing, we got a Kachawi. If there is an evolution where she can go in, she's probably the only, only left back other than like a Roberto Carlos or something insane like that, that will actually replace Bacha. So I am keeping an eye out for that because I would actually pay like 200k just for that because her goal card was insane before I got Bacha. So yeah, now let us go into the actual tactics. The moment you've all been waiting for. 352, defensive style, balance, width, 35, depth, 65 build up play balance chance creation direct passing with 50 players in the box two four five corners and free kicks up to you i had it on two two i don't really like it on two two to be honest uh, i prefer corners on three actually uh, and yeah why is width so low for defensively as i said before you'd rather defend on the wing well, you'd rather defend cutbacks than someone just running through the middle of your team. And with the new post-patch custom tactics and post-patch patch itself, uh, because of the whole midfield congestion thingy thingy going on, uh, yeah, it's better to have your width lower. That way you can deal with the midfield congestion thingy thingy much more easily. And as I said again, Repeat it for like the third time, you'd rather defend cutbacks than just someone running through the middle of your team. Depth, 65. It's, it's not too high, surely you can deal with it, hopefully. And yeah, I'm just gonna give you a disclaimer that, I usually do give a disclaimer that what works for me may not work for you. And this is one of them where it really does apply because three at the backs are very difficult to use. And I only advise using this if you want to try it and have fun, learn something new, challenge yourself, which is a good thing. Learn something new, good thing. You know, just be different, which is a good thing. You don't want to be like all the basic bitches that are using four, three, two, one, or whatever it's called. And so, yeah, let's just get straight into the instructions. Your strikers, both of them are getting behind. That is all. Getting behind. Your attacking midfielder is on stay forward. I don't know if you know this, but if you keep them on stay forward, they actually stay as a cam. If you leave them on balance, they'll either move into like a left mid position or a right mid position, and it can be extremely annoying when you're trying to counter attack and they're not as then they're not in the cam position to build up play to the strikers. So yeah, cam is stay forward. Your wingers, your fullbacks, whatever you want to call them, they are on comeback on defense and get in behind both of them come back on defense get in behind your cdms on cut passing lanes and stay back while attacking both of them cut passing lanes stay back while attacking and honestly 
that is all. And yeah, so as I mentioned as well, just to go over one more thing quickly, I just remembered just to explain that why are both CDMs on, on stay back while attacking? Why are both CDMs on stay back while attacking? Well, as you know, the two fullbacks don't come back even though they don't come back on defense, they don't come back as quickly as they used to pre-patch. So right now you kind of want more defensive stability and solidity. So by having your two CDMs on stay back, it just guarantees you extra defensive strength. And trust me, it doesn't really affect you going up countering because as long as your cam is in the middle, being a cam, stay forward. All you have to do from your defense straight to your CDM, straight to your cam, triangle passes. And yeah, so don't be afraid of that because it's honestly such great gameplay with all the triangles that you can make using this formation. As even though that your CDMs are both on stay back, it doesn't really affect your counter attacking or your, your attacking in general. Because as I said, there's so many triangles and if you have people that can pass the ball, like if you have people, players with really great passing, which at this point of the game, you should have at least one with really great passing. You're, you're solid, bro, you're solid. So don't worry too much, give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. And yeah, that's pretty much all for this custom tactic. And yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Check out the gameplay to follow and I'll see you in the next one. And then the right position to read it. And a goal! Modric. Now with Alexander Arnold. Zinedine Zidane. Preparing to go infield. He's in behind. Another good high press. Still a chance. And a goal. And here's the starting lineup for the Founders. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Paolo Maldini plays alongside Virgil van Dijk. In... What a chance this is, Derek. And a goal. Trent Alexander Arnold. Perna. Losing possession here. Oh, he looks threatening. Could be. And it's gone in. The team. Let's see about the delivery. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Advantage played. Good technique displayed. Oh, big opportunity. And a goal. That's his brace. They just can't keep the quiet. 